you'll notice that there are no numbers on this first graph. A good strategy is to label the legs. Another strategy is to mark the changes. Here's a change, here's a change, and here's another change. And that may help you with your translation activity. So here's a VT graph set up. And because we don't have any numbers, we don't have to worry about the quantities. Instead, we have to worry about the qualities of the graph. So this is what's called a qualitative graph. No numbers. The object here is traveling at a constant velocity, and it's moving in the positive direction. So that means that our translation will be here. It also takes that amount of time. So I'm going to make a segment over here that's the same segment as this. We see that B takes the same amount of time as A, so I'm going to put an equal segment there. However, it looks as if leg C takes a little bit less time, so we're going to have to indicate that like this. So A will happen within this time, B will happen in this time, C will happen in this time. The velocity here is unknown, but we do know that it's constant and that it's in the positive direction because the slope is positive. So you could do this. And we don't know what this quantity would be, but we know that it's traveling at a constant velocity as this amount of time passes. Now, its position appears to stop changing for a certain amount of time. So it's sitting around, which means its velocity is now going to be zero. And now it changes direction. And it goes back the way that it came. But it passes the point where it started and ends at a point a little bit farther. And that means it's going faster. A smaller amount of time passes than here, and it covers a larger distance. So it has a negative velocity because it's going in the negative direction. But it's also faster, which means it's not going to be this far away from the axis. It's going to be farther. So here's A, here's B. Here's C. And a little fancy color coding may help. Good strategy to use. Now when you make a motion map, we'll do the uh, written description in a minute. This graph has no numbers, therefore the motion map doesn't need numbers. And here's its x1 position, and here's its x2 position. So it looks like, I'm going to start it here. It appears as if it starts here, and it's going to go at a constant velocity. And then it's going to sit around for an equal amount of time. So here's one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. So there's leg A, there's leg B. And now it's going to shoot all the way down to here in less time. So it's going to happen in apparently in less than two seconds. So maybe we want to do that and just put in our x2 and show that at this instant it's going to go faster and maybe it keeps going we don't know leg a is constant constant velocity positive direction 
leg B, the velocity equals zero. C, the velocity is negative and faster than leg A. And this concludes the exciting review of Unit 2, Worksheet 5.